How are we doing, everybody? We've got uh, an exciting topic today that we're pumped to talk about. Uh, we're talking about different accessories that we offer for your Yeti cooler. And right here we have a Yeti 35, but all the different parts that we're going to show fit on all the different Yeti models and or we have a version that fits those. So let's look at the first one. Sure. Go ahead and get the cooler opened up here. So this one is a cooler top cutting board. So this is made out of King Starboard. It's a cutting board material. Can yep. I show how it sets on, Jared? Absolutely. So you can see it just kind of drops right on the top of the cooler. Uh, pretty neat in the fact that you can see these slides that go underneath here. That helps capture the cooler lid. And as a part of that, you know, pretty easy installation, right? So, you know, some of the unique things that, that we've talked about with this is that it doesn't really uh, interfere at all with your cooler. You're able to use a lot of the, sim the same stuff that you have. Go ahead, sure. walk them through some yeah, of that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So just making sure you can see, so this is slotted, right? So these are, these are just sliding in to lock in place. So obviously you pull them out, you set it on, and you slide this down in to lock over. So you know, th there, I've seen some other cutting boards that require either uh, you know, using maybe the, uh, the lock holes or uh, the tie down straps, but this, like you're saying, has zero effect on the functionality and usability of the cooler. It keeps your, uh, your tie down straps open, like you said. You can still use a padlock to lock it up. It's normally easy to take on and off. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Piece of so you know, they've got these little uh, positive stops here that you just slide right open. Um, and then from there, you know, it just slides right off the top of the cooler. Oh. Um, one of the things that you mentioned before is that what if, what if you've got somebody that's got like a, a C deck or something on the top, some type of EVA foam on top of their cooler, how does that work? So we supply with every single one that we ship, we supply a small shim that would mount, you would have to take, you know, two screws out and place this shim in between that sliding plate. And all that does is add a little bit of height so that it's fully functional with any EVA foam cooler pad that you might have. Cool. So what, what let's let's like go through what someone would use this for in a practical sense. Of course, you have cutting bait, right? right? Um, if you're using it for uh, drinks, you yep. know, you're cutting limes, At prepping the beach. drinks. Perfect. You know, they, they're not inexpensive things, right? Yetis, right. You know, and, and I've seen people or I've heard people. You, know, you buy this cooler because you, you, you're rugged, you're outdoors, you're doing whatever, but then you're like, oh, I don't want to hurt my high dollar $400, right. right. You know, so yeah, this this really is a, a little bit of an investment, additional investment from a standpoint of you're know, really being able to use the cooler. Yeah, I'm going to cut on it, I'm going to cut bait, I'm not going to worry about you know messing up my, uh, my investment. Yeah, uh, one of the things also to note is it's got an integrated uh, measuring stick on here, so I'll pop it off real quick and see, I don't know if you guys can see that there uh, online, but there's integrated inch marks for a measuring stick that goes all the way up to, to 20 inches, it looks like, right? And of course it goes up. is 19. Yeah, and a 45 is bigger than a 35, yeah, mm -hmm. so those iterate. So this is an example of something that uh, you're buying a, a, a version, of course, that specifically fits your size cooler. I think that's great to mention. So we're, we're, you know, this is the 35. We do carry it for most popular Tundra models, right? All the way from 35 up to, I believe, 105 is where we we stop. It's quite large before we've uh, you know stopped. Yeah. So I mean, the ninety-five percent of, of Yetis that are in circulation, assuming you don't have an extremely large one, yeah, we would have a version that would fit. Cool. All right. So next one. Next one's my favorite. Let's check it out. Mine as well. So uh, this is basically a tackle tray. We'll get it on here onto the the Yeti. We'll spin it around so everybody can see. Um, basically, this turns your Yeti into. Um, you know, basically a one-stop shop. You've got everything you need to, to fish. You've got your two rod holders here, um, an integrated knife holder that basically acts as a sheet that drops directly down in here. Uh, you've got a plier holder uh, that drops here, and also you've got an integrated 3700 Plano tray that's gonna hold all your tackle. Uh, the, the thing that I would say is pretty unique about this is that, you know, I say usage-wise, a lot of people have this up on the, the casting platform of their boat. Um, this kind of keeps all their, their tackle, their rod, their reel, their pliers all at a hand's reach. Um, you know, another place that you'd see this at is a guy that wants to go surf fishing, has a pier cart. This gives them a little surf bit of fishing, extra place. Surf fishing, pier fishing, absolutely. Yep. Um, show them how it, how it mounts because that's, that's really a clever yep. uh, thing as well. So this actually drops into the tie down take the slot. Up here. Just drops right into the tie down slot. So you can see there's a you know, a unique part here at the top, as well as here that'll drop right down into that tie down strap. And we also include a little slot here, once we get this out, then we'll spin it around, <coughs> that you can see 
that it keeps your existing, we, we add an, another spot for you to have a, an existing tie down. So you can still use a tie down. You don't lose your tie, well, you lose your tie down, but you gain a tie down, right? right. So it's fully functional from a standpoint of using a tie down with yep. it. Yep. And also you can still use your handle here, right? When the, the Plano tray's out, if you want to throw that inside your cooler, you're able to still grab this this handle here to carry, right? So. And I tell you, that we redesigned this entire thing to make that handle work when you're carrying it. Right. Because you know we, we you know, this probably is more practical on the smaller uh, yetis. You know, and I, I do think this is for the you know, surf fishermen, or the pier fishermen, or you know, really anyone that's you're know, carrying around a yeti. But you don't want to have something that you've got to go back and get this. You want to be able to carry and transport your yeti with uh, you know, with this installed. Sure. So that's a really good uh, important feature. Awesome. Cool. So let's go ahead and look at look at the next one here. Let's toss this back in. So the next one. Is very similar. It is a powder coated aluminum uh, rod rack. So you know, just like the model, we, other model we looked at, this drops into the tie down slot. If we spin it, we'll see that we sorry dude, that we add a tie down slot back in. And in this case, you know, it's just a rod holder. It's a little bit, I would say, higher end. This is a uh, plastic, uh, you know, injection mold or uh, injection molded rod holder that we bolt to starboard. This is powder coated aluminum, really high end. Looks like a nice finished part of the cooler. Right. Um, but but you know, it's effectively the same thing, just without a planer tray and a uh, knife holder and plier holder. I think it's a little bit less expensive. I think it's uh, thirty or forty dollars less than than this model, um, and probably a little bit nicer materials. So if all you need is some additional rod storage, you know, this is a great option to uh, to consider. Cool. So I've got one other one that I don't have any sample of, but I want to switch to the website here real quick, and let's look at that. So this uh, this uh, product mounts exactly like the last two that we've looked at, but it is a drink holder. Here's some uh, good lifestyle photos of it. So you can see this drops and locks into the same existing tie down slot, uh, but in this case you're picking up three drink holders. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all it is to it. And it's still, we designed it so that it could be uh, used f uh, portable with the handle. So you can see the handles uh, you know, fits right up between. We notch the individual drink holders that you can carry it down on the beach or wherever else you're it's using it. It's perfect for tailgating, right? I mean, it is a cool tailgating part, absolutely. Um, and so let's just flip back and let's look at some lifestyle pictures of some of the parts we've been looking at here. Here's the uh, uh, fishing tackle unit. Again, you can see you've got your, uh, your rod holders, your knife, your pliers, your really everything you need for surf fishing or pier fishing. And then here is the two rod holder, right? Ready to go. And of course, you've got your cooler top cutting boards, which we have different size options, all the way up to, it looks like a 105. You're absolutely right, 105. Cool. So switching back here, we've got a couple more parts we want to look at. Yeah, absolutely. And let's do that. Let's open them up. Yeah. So the first one uh, we wanted to go over here is, is basically a cooler web. This is a pretty cool part. Uh, we have a lot of the tackle web products on the on the site to store a lot of the fishing stuff. Um, this just with an adhesive strap, uh, which is Velcro, right? So you you put the Velcro adhesive to the back of the cooler, or the top of the cooler. And the unique thing about this is, you know, everybody hates the fact that you've got sandwiches or snacks, anything you want to keep dry up out of the cooler, there's really, you know, not much of an option for that. So this, this keeps stuff up out of the water of the cooler, a really good option to add. Um, you know, I think it's a, a good part. Yeah, it's a great part and, and a very good seller. Uh, the next one is one of your babies. It's one of your favorite parts. Yep, so Watch this is picture. actually a, a really cool part. Um, this is a, a local couple here that were featured on Shark Tank. Um, this part was developed, it's called the sub safe. Keeps your sub up out of the water. You know, their big thing is nobody likes a soggy sub when you're on the boat the whole day. Uh, this is a, 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 a basically a three part system, right? So this unscrews, you're able to put a, a 12 inch sub in here. Uh, if you've got a smaller sub, you're able to have the six inch. So all of that comes together as one deal. And again, you know, your sub now can go in there in safety and sit in the cooler and you're not gonna get it wet throughout the day. Tupperware for your sub. Tupperware for your sub. Awesome. And the last one we want to show yep. is uh, is pretty interesting. We actually want to get your take on this. We're not sure if it's a good part or not. We want some honest feedback. Let's set it down. We can leave this on. It's not a problem. Okay. So this is something we designed at our metal shop somewhat on a whim. 
and you can see it mounts the same way. It drops in and locks just like uh, the other uh, you know, side mount accessories. And the idea behind it is I have uh, you know, a boat uh, uh, paddle board. And boat sells a leaning post that drops in. It's designed for the boat model, and I'll you know, use the Yeti and I'll lean up against the, the boat uh, leaning post, and it's you're really convenient. But there are a lot of different paddle boards that maybe don't have a, a leaning post that's you know ready to go, uh, you know, specifically designed for that model. Right. So the idea was, you know, could we make a leaning post or a backrest that dropped onto so this is now this is the one product that's specific to a Yeti 35. Although we could make something similar for other models, we haven't yet. Right. And yeah, you know, this is a new product that we don't really know if there's anything to it yet. It's kind of interesting. It's almost to some degree incomplete, and in so much that you kind of feel like there maybe needs to be a backrest on the back of it. Um, but we really don't know if, if there's a market for that. Whether it be for, like we said, tailgating, right? I mean, nobody likes to sit and not have something on their back. So, you know, I initially designed for a paddle board, but, you know, we, we'd like to get everyone's thoughts, see see what they think. Yeah, and, you know, you go, okay, it's cool for tailgating, it's cool for pier fishing, but you also go, there's a lot of very inexpensive folding seats, right? So are right. we creating a solution that there's not really a problem for? One other interesting thing is, you know, a lot of people, of course, use their uh, coolers as a casting platform. We made a version of this that was probably three or four times the height of this. The idea being that it could be a you know, leaning post uh, for when you're you know, on the top of your cooler as a casting platform. And unfortunately, it just it moved way too much. You know that the cooler, of course, is strapped down to the deck, right. and then you know you're only really held by these you know, semi-rigid you know, rubber straps, and there's just too much movement. So we we bagged on that. We ended up uh, scrapping that. But this one, we're still interested. On. We just don't know, uh, you know, if there's anything to it. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. We would love to get uh, some feedback on ways we can make it better, or maybe we're crazy and there's no market for it. So yep. definitely we'll let us know. A couple comments here. All right. Let's see. So can the sub safe hold other things? Also, what uh, types of rods fit in the rod holders? So we'll take those one at a time. Yeah. You want so to sub safes? Yeah, absolutely. So the the sub safe again, it's a completely waterproof container. So good for dry storage right on the boat. If you've, you've eaten your sub and you want to throw your keys, your wallet, your phone in there. Works really well for that. Um, you know, it actually also fits the 12 inch fits a full bottle of wine. So something that you know your wine bottle's not rolling around in your cooler. It's a little bit more protected when it's inside of this. That's cool. Great like question. Wine. Yeah. Um, and then the other question about the rod holders. They're generally the designed for spinning rods. Sure. You, know, you certainly they're not sized for offshore uh, you know, sport fishing rods. Um, you know, they wouldn't work as good for a, a bait caster. Or yeah, we tried actually earlier today. We had to switch one of the rods out uh, or the reels out on the uh, the deal because it's not. It wouldn't actually hold a bait casting rod. Yeah, and I would say the same about a, a fly rod. If you're trying to do fly rods, it's not really going to hold a fly rod. Although we have made a modified version. Where is that unit? Uh, right here behind yep. me. We do have a modified uh, aluminum. Uh, fly rod holder that we've notched you know, a lot further down that has actually a Velcro, stri Velcro strap that's really nice. Uh, so if you were interested in a version that mounted on the side of the Yeti that had uh, you know, either two fly rod holders or maybe you know one and one, uh, that's certainly something that we could quote uh, custom for you. So awesome, let us know. Awesome, well let us know if you can think of any other cool products and accessories we could add uh, to kind of, you know, um, Jazz up your Jazz yeti. up your yeti. Yep. Yeah, yep. thanks for saving me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so otherwise, uh, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And have a great day. Thanks, guys.